You're welcome. This is Messing Jets, the podcast coming at you day three of our DraftKings sportsbook journey. Um, we're going to look at uh, yesterday's results. And uh, we lost, if uh, if you knew already. But um, let's just go into and see why we lost. Um, no, that that's not it. That was my other bet. We go to the $5 parlay that we made live online. Uh, as you can see, the Lakers, I don't know what happened. Um, LeBron James had a triple-double, and they just couldn't stop the Atlanta Hawks from making three-point shots. Atlanta went crazy. Trey Young had a, a great game, and they eked out a win against the Lakers. That was a good win from the Hawks at home. Uh, maybe I would have took the Hawks points with the Hawks at home, but I really felt like the Lakers was going to win. Everything else was correct. And then the Pelicans. And this one, this is the game I like almost didn't put on because I knew I wasn't that confident. And they didn't show up at all. Orlando Magic have won. They did win five of the last six games. They were a hot team. So uh, clearly they ran right through the Pelicans. And that was the reason why we lost. So you forgive me, you forget. You got to move on. Uh, so technically, if you look at it, we won what thirty something. The first our first parlay with that five dollars, and then we spent another five. We lost. So we're still up about up twenty right now, twenty plus. So we're gonna go into today's picks. I'm gonna start with my. The most confident games I, I'm comfortable in today. Um, I'm gonna start with the Rockets versus the Timberwolves. Uh, Rockets are just on on fire right now. They're finally clicking. They finally got Chris Paul back healthy. Him, James Harden, Eric Gordon, uh, Gerald Green coming off the bench. If you look at the Rockets, um, they won four of the last six games. They're just on a roll. Timberwolves have been very shaky, as you can see, a lot of losses. They beat the Clippers, but um, when Hardy gets in that mode, um, he's almost unstoppable. I think they have no answer for him. A lot of small forwards and shooting guards have been going off against this team anyway for my DFSers. Um, and I'm going to take the points. I'm going to take the four and a half. I think the Rockets uh, control this game and win – Pretty easily in in Minnesota. All right, so we're gonna go to our next game. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom, and I'm just taking advantage of an elite, the number one team in the Western Conference going against the Portland Trail Blazers. I know um, Andrew Iguodala may be out. Definitely, Sean Livingston is out, and uh, and Demarcus Cousins is out on rest, but. They still have KD, Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green. And this is, you're never going to see a money line like this where the Warriors are just minus 143. Um, I'm going to take the Warriors against the Portland Trail Blazers. Sorry, Dame Dollar, but uh, it's just too much Curry, Durant, Klay, and Draymond for my liking. Um, let me see the stats. Gold State. And Gold State didn't beat them already. I think that you got to win. Uh, I'm taking advantage of that, those odds. So that's kind of, that's too low. Uh, next game, I'm going on to, this is 11 games late, so you got a lot to choose from. You can get real different with your parlays. If you don't uh, agree with my choices, I'm going with, with what I feel comfortable with. And I'm going with narratives, nuggets at home. I tend to go to the same areas like Nuggets at home, uh, Mavericks at home or Mavericks away. You take advantage of that stuff like that. You got to know how teams are and know their scheduling. And you can probably you can take advantage of some wins that way. Um, in this one, I'm going to take Nuggets. I don't know about they win by eight. They probably do. I love the over right there of 230. It was 230 earlier and it's been bumped up to 231 and a half. 
So if you paid attention, you could have took advantage of that 230. Um, I would, in another parlay, I'd probably take the minus eight. But in this case, I'll take the minus five, 177 is still decent odds. Um, so far, that's going to be our three legs. I'm going to look for a fourth and maybe a fifth. I'll just look for a fourth. Uh, see the Celtics Pistons games. That's that's rough. Irving and now Terry Rozier is out of that game. I would choose the Celtics straight up since they are at home. Um, I'm gonna probably. This is tough. The with the Raptors Wizards game, you gotta wait on news about um, uh, Kawhi Leonard. He's still questionable. There's, there's, you got to wait on news so you they can confirm that he's in or out before you place a bet on that one, just in case you don't want to get screwed. Um, it's between it's between the Nets game, the Celtics game, and this Bucks game. Mm, I like. I'm gonna go with what I chose yesterday. I told you guys that the Celtics play better without Kyrie Irving. Um, it's something about that team. It's just too deep, number one. And it's something about uh, Brad Stevens, how he really rallies the troops around him. Like, he can't really handle an ego. That's why, for some reason, it's not the same team with Kyrie Irving. But without, they like, they really showed up and showed out against the 76ers, who are totally stacked. And the Boston Celtics got that huge win in Philly. 112 to 109 without Kyrie Irving. I think that they rally around him again, and I will take the money line straight up. So this is going to be our four leg parlay for today. Um, for right now, I'm gonna put five dollars like we always do. You put whatever you're comfortable with your bankroll. You can put ten. If you put ten, that's a decent bet for seventy nine dollars. That's a good profit right there. You can keep going up if you want, but for this video, we're gonna do five. Um, we're going to lock this in. It's going to be today's February 13th bet. So he's locked in. Um, we'll be, I'll be back tomorrow when, and y'all show you these results. Hopefully we can make one and one turn into and one. Uh, I'd like to say thank you. Please go check out run DFS, um, for gun Dacker's great, uh, product that he has for DFS. And for if you want to speak to me in Discord or in chat, you have to go to RunDFS.com, sign up there, and get connected with a great group of players, great group of people really that know their sports. Um, it doesn't matter what sport they're they're grinding, every sport. And um, please make sure you like the video, uh, subscribe and comment, and follow me on Twitter at MetsNestJets, uh, D. Um, I like to say thank you and uh, see you tomorrow. Good luck.